congratulations on getting started on your degree. Not only are we excited to get you started in the financial aid process, we are also excited to show you how affordable school can be. First, we will determine whether you qualify for Pell Grants based on your eligibility. If applicable, these grants are need-based and do not need to be repaid. Another option is Stafford Student Loans. These federal loans have low interest rates and do not need to be repaid until six months after you graduate or leave school. In addition, we have a private in-house loan called AR Management, which will cover any remaining balance that your federal financial aid does not cover. This loan does require a monthly payment based on your budget and income while you're in school, but don't worry, we are always able to make this payment affordable for our students. Now that we've covered grants and loans, let's talk about a few ways to save you money. First, if you have previously attended college, you will need to work on getting your transcripts so we can have them evaluated. If any credits are transferable, we will need the official transcripts in order to reduce the cost, so please contact your previous school right away. Next, we would highly recommend applying for as many scholarships as you can the entire time you're in school, because it may significantly reduce the amount of money you'll have to pay back. Many scholarships go unused, so please make applying for scholarships a priority. If you would like a list of scholarship websites, please ask your financial planner for more information. Another savings opportunity is the tuition assistance match Independence University offers. If you are currently employed and your employer offers tuition assistance, we will match up to $3,000 for a master's degree, $5,000 for an associate's degree, and up to $10,000 for a bachelor's degree. Depending on your program, this can potentially save you up to $20,000. This is a huge savings opportunity, so please take advantage of it. If you would like a list of companies that offer tuition reimbursement, please ask your financial planner for more information. Finally, we offer an additional grant exclusive to our school, the Family Grant. This particular grant allows us to save you and an immediate family member 10% off of your tuition if you enroll at the same time. Depending on your program, this could potentially save you over $7,000. Please take advantage of this savings opportunity and let your admissions consultant or financial planner know who is interested in attending school with you. We would love to help you save as much money as possible. Now that we've discussed all of your options, let's talk about how to get you qualified. In order to determine what you qualify for in federal financial aid, Pell Grants and Stafford loans, you will need to complete your FAFSA. This stands for the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. However, it is important that you complete the application for the right award year, so please ask your admissions consultant which FAFSA is needed. The sooner you get to a computer to complete this application, the sooner you'll find out what federal aid you qualify for. The application will ask for basic information such as your name, social security number, and even tax information from the previous year. First, the name on the application needs to match your social security card. Next, we need to make sure our school code is added to your FAFSA on the school selection section. Please write this number down, 003674. There will also be a dependency determination section that will determine whether the federal government deems you as a dependent or independent student. It is important to answer these questions accurately because we may need documentation to support any of the questions you answer yes to. If you answer no to all of the dependency questions, we will need your parent information on the FAFSA. If parent information is needed, you may be eligible for additional financial aid options such as the PLUS loan. Another item to be aware of on the FAFSA is the question that asks you about household size. It's incredibly important that you only count yourself plus the number of people you are financially supporting at least 50%. In order to claim children and or dependents on your FAFSA, you will need to be able to prove that you're able to support them financially. For example, we may need a current paycheck stub as well as a copy of any public assistance you receive for yourself and your dependents. Please be very cautious when determining whether or not you are able to claim children and or dependents on the FAFSA. If you have any questions, refer to the Help and Hints section on the right side of your screen. Finally, if you filed taxes, please use the data retrieval tool to link your tax information. Not only does this make it easier on you, but all of the information will be accurate and will reduce the chance that we'll need to collect your tax return transcripts. If you did not file taxes but worked the previous year, you must report your income earned from work on the FAFSA. At the end of the FAFSA, it will ask you to create a PIN number to sign the application electronically. Please write this number down as you will need it for the next step in the process, your financial aid appointment. Once you've submitted your FAFSA, it will give you a confirmation page. Please save this. It will give you an expected family contribution number, or EFC. This number tells us exactly what you qualify for in federal financial aid, Pell Grants and Stafford loans. 
All of this information needs to be accurate because it is a federal application and is also what we base your eligibility off of. If you need any help, please contact your admissions consultant so he or she can get you in touch with the financial aid office. After your FAFSA has been completed, we will move you directly into your financial aid appointment. This is the exciting part of the process because your financial planner will put together your financial plan and show you exactly what you qualify for. For this appointment, you will need to be at a computer with internet access. Please also come prepared with three family references, names, physical addresses, and phone numbers, as well as a copy of your ID, social security card, and high school diploma or GED. If you have any questions, please have your admissions consultant get you in contact with a financial aid representative.